Hey, what's up, guys? This is Shot by Juma, artist, photographer, um, entrepreneur. Um, yeah, Juma Munger here. Uh, we got 275 photos that we're about to try to go through. Um, and this is just my process of how I go through my sessions. This is a model session, so this is kind of one of those um, fun fun sessions you know uh it's not super serious we're obviously we're going for some good looks we're trying to get something good some good content to post but for me and for the model i always try to create this kind of fun just natural um environment like we're just gonna go in here and have fun and just you know see what we come up with um i'm just not at that point in my career where everything is just you know oh we gotta get the look we gotta get the look with a lot of these sessions, I'm um, still experimenting. Um, as you can see with, with a photo like this, uh, to your right, you can kind of see the harder shadows right here. I had a red, I had an AD200 with the fernal head, fernal head with a, um, with a red, uh, what are those called? It's basically a red color gel was was taped on top of it um, and it's giving me this ef this this effect I went with the red um, mainly because red and blues are usually the pretty popular colors the ones that really tend to pop um, I think I already edited this picture um, what I try to encourage the models to do is to at least give me a different pose every time you see it um, hold on I'm just trying to get my horizon straight I'm trying to get her some you know as centered as I can um, I hate when I have to pick a side you know if you look right here in this corner uh, you can see this lamp right here and then you it's like you're almost picking, you know. What side do you want? And sometimes the crop is everything, you know. Um, the crop literally will set off the picture if you see the difference. So you see this lamp is completely gone, and all you see is this look like the front of the bed with one lamp right there versus this, you know. She's not necessarily centered, but you can kind of see the two, the two lamps, and then the two picture frames. Um, let me see. I th honestly, I think I like this one a little bit better. Uh, let me see. Another lesson um, with with Lightroom. You have your crop right here, and then you have your auto, where the computer will kind of automatically uh, line up your horizons. And sometimes it, it's a hit or miss. Um, me personally, I like this one a little bit better. Um, even though this will kind of give her a straight look, it's throwing our horizons in the back off. So let me see if I can find like the perfect medium. something like that sometimes going through these uh, sessions are I don't want to say it's hard but a picture like this yeah it doesn't look too flattering um, you can't you can't quite see her eyes you can see one catch light um, I'm not sure if that's just the shadow right there or what her lips is definitely popping I like the tattoo we got some ink going right there but just overall, it's just it's not a very flattering picture. Now, the model client, she might like it. She or he might love this picture, even though they didn't rate it. So this is one of those photos where I'm like, eh, I don't like it, but they might like it. So let me just keep it. This one right here, I like this picture. This is pretty dope. Um, again, like my main focus is just getting different looks different poses hey try this try that hey um how about you uh let's do this hey can you uh can you move your arm like this for me 
uh, here, turn around, look that way, things like that. I deleted that picture because our eyes were uh, our eyes were almost closed. I didn't really like that. Um, and again, I'm not I'm not I'm not looking for the best picture. Um, when I go through these pictures, I'm really just looking at composition. What looks good? Not what makes the model look the best, but just what looks good overall. Um, I'm not going to crop this. I should, but I'm not. Um, it looks like she's mid talking, so yeah, I don't like this. Her body is crooked. It's kind of. Um, I see. I see shapes when I look at models, so um, this is kind of like a, a diagonal kind of shape, and then you can kind of see like the, where the shadows are kind of getting created right here, so now I'm going to delete that. Here, another one, um, this also is, is a very simple, um, not really sure if, if, if I, I totally love this um, photo. same thing here I always try to tell my models like hey your eyes your expression everything um, this one just kind of a dead look um, bring your chin up a little uh, your head is kind of tilted to the left um, so let's let's try to straighten that up um, spread the spread the legs give me give me more of a pose this is just kind of sitting just you know and as you can see in the next one she's kind of just giving me more of a pose By this point, I believe I'm like, hey, uh, I think I'm done with the uh, with the red light. Let's try to get some normal looks. But even this, you know, pretty pretty casual, simple look. Um, I'm not completely mad at it, but it's not really giving me sexy vibes. You know, with the outfit, the bed. You know, it's just, it's just, nah. It's not fitting for what we're shooting. talking kind of looking shots this one is cool I like this I personally wish that um, she wouldn't have put her hands down here separating this um, this bench in the bed because it looks bad um, composition wise so what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come up here and kind of like almost crop the hand out Unfortunately, um, I'm not exactly mad at this picture, but it's not very flattering. Uh, I'm not sure why I took a sideways picture. But like I said, uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's more about just letting the model uh, breathe, just letting the model be free. I'd rather let you be free and, and, and kind of do what you feel is going to work for you if it's going to allow you to um, free yourself expression wise you know some people uh, it just takes time for them we're 20 photos in at this point um, out of 300 pictures that was taken so I'm not looking for every picture to be the picture I'm not let's just uh, let's get some good looks and you know once once we conclude the shoot let's see what we got I like having the uh, the freedom to delete as I please uh, when you're dealing with models man every, every little look is maybe just nah no I hate it no I hate it um, I like the lighting on this uh, it's not super harsh I probably could you know bring some things down but like I explained with this I'm just trying to um, revamp my my workflow and kind of speed things up so um, outside of the my personal favorites and their personal favorites I'm not really looking to do anything other than basic correction
and I'm really like I said, basic color correction. So this is this is the before. It just it's a little too bright. Um, it's pretty good because you know it's it's getting everything in focus. That's why I shot at f4 instead of a, a 2.8. Uh, oh, I shot this at 2.8, but at, for the majority of this session, I was shooting at um, f4. I'm not sure why some of these are at 2.8. Um, because there's not too much separation to really get here. But and as far as like the outfit choice, I didn't pick the outfit and for the location, this was kind of the most neutral area. Definitely uh wish I could have did uh went about this sh at least with this outfit. There was definitely some other things creatively that I could have tried. This picture right here isn't in focus, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I always try to look for the ones that aren't in focus. Um, it's not super sexy. It's not. It's not necessarily even a bad picture. Um, it's very expressive. It's kind of abstract. So I like pictures that are abstract. Um, that could kind of tell a story. Hold on. So let's bring some of this light down. For a lot of these girls, especially uh, the the women in the Detroit market, um, everything is very uh, sexy, you know, uh, seductive. When it comes to my shoots with models, I rarely ever um, style, um, and for me, it's just more of uh, I want the model to be as comfortable as they can be. Um, you know, as a as a as a male photographer, um, my priority is always making sure that that the model is comfortable and um, just I d I don't want them to feel like this is a uh, intimidated thing experience. You know, I don't want them thinking like, oh, this is work, work. Um, you definitely can get in that mode for those type of projects, but um, when we're just doing trade for print kind of sessions is you know we take 300 pictures and I'm just looking to get that one good picture that one to two to three pictures that's just really going to pop and uh, really set off a ch just a, a, a positive chain chain reaction as far as like uh, positive reviews and things like that um, with some of these pictures here uh, I purposely I'm shooting at uh, 2.8 so I'm really doing this that really trying to get the environment here. Uh, looking at it now on this bench probably would have looked better, um, not necessarily in here or uh, possibly if I would have kind of moved it down. But sometimes in, in these in these sessions, you just everything is moving so fast. So uh, some of these th some of these things you're just not going to catch until the end of the session once you're um, at that post-production stage where you're reviewing the photos. And um, some of these photos, obviously, these are the, like I said, these are the ones that uh, she didn't rate. So she wasn't feeling some of these. So um, it's going to be obvious as to why some of these weren't rated. But like I said, with me and my OCD, and just want, I just want to see all the pictures, you know. Um, I love what I do, you know. I, I definitely enjoy what I do. Um, so for me, yeah, it's sometimes it's the best part is is reviewing the photos. Um, sometimes I'm not, I don't, I'm not super big into uh, the retouching stage, only because like sometimes I just I, I just don't be having the patience for it. If I'm just being totally honest, um, especially for my edits, my edits tend to take 30 40 minutes a picture um and it gets tiring looking at the same um same person the same background it, it, it i don't want to say it i hurt your eyes but and here's another picture where it's like okay uh composition wise it's i look at things with the rule of thirds you know you have her body for the most part down here is it's it's 
somewhat centered, and then as you go up, it starts to curve. So this is what I mean when, I, when I'm telling my mom is to, hey, uh, keep your body straight if you can. Think about angles, you know. Um, with this, you're leaning back. You know, you got the, um, this right here. Some people will look at this and see that and be like, oh, my God, it looks like it hurts. So and some of these s some of these poses just aren't very they're not going to be very flattering to the body to to the body type um anytime you're 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 sitting down um bending over um turning things like that that's when you're going to tend to see a lot of those body rows um same thing here as far as the rule of thirds you can see for the most part her body is 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 mainly within this this center uh square then as you go up it kind of shifts over so if you can see like right here it's between these two for the most part it's mainly right here but we got more um skin in this in this square than this one then as you go up to this one it starts to shift over so ideally if the bed wasn't right there for you to see the rule of thirds you probably could uh try to um offset the you know the horizon a little bit where it becomes you know but like i said because of this bed right here that's going to throw everything off so sometimes you kind of have to pick um do you want it do you want your bed to be you know do you want your horizons to be there or do you want your model to be there basically um, sometimes i shoot with one light a lot um you can see that the difference between these photos and the last photos is i had the red right here bouncing off this wall that was kind of filling this these shadows and i just completely turned that light off so sometimes i'll go from shooting with one light to adding the second to add in a light to the to add in a color to the second to potentially having three and having two different colors with a main key light um, for me i'm always experimenting i'm just trying new things trying different things um, i hate that the cords are showing right here but you know like i said uh until it's like uh, a high-end project um fashion um, editorial, you know, for this, these, these kind of shoots is mainly just for the content. It's, it's not necessarily, we're not going into this with a go, like, here's the look that we're going for. We need this. Or, you know, we're shooting for, uh, X magazine and we need this. So, but I feel like I'm just kind of explaining things over again. Right here, you can see our hair is in focus, but she's not quite in focus. Same thing, she's not in focus. And just like I, just like, um, I like to, I'm always looking for different angles and um, looks, you know, going from wide to medium to tight end. I also go from left to right to straight ahead to overhead to, you know, the angles. Every time you change your angle, every time you change your, uh, your, your, your pose, the minute you flip a hair, the minute you tie a hair, it's a whole new look. And that's just what I always try to do. I'm just trying to get as many looks with this one location, with this one outfit. So that's that's the look for um, look one. So what I then do is I come in here and I export it. So I go up here and I'll, I'm just going to find uh, the photo. J, um, so we're gonna go look one. Don't play with him. Let's go. You will name this Nikki. This is where um, the unrated looks are gonna be going into. So that's look one. All right. Now 
let's go for look two. Um, I'm not looking for these to be super moody or anything like that. Um, so I really, I more just want to bring either bring the highlights, the exposure down, um, or bring it up. I'm not really trying to fully edit any of these photos. Um, that's the only way I'm really gonna keep my work time down um, when I go through these. Um, I'm not sure what other people, what other photographers are doing, how much time it's taking them to go through a session. Uh, when I get busy, I get busy, so sometimes I don't have the luxury of spending an hour just simply going through a session. So. This is a picture, this is one of many pictures that she loved like this, and my biggest issue with this is trying to um, get this lighting out. Um, it's just with such a tight space, man, it's just, it's really hard sometimes to really get, you know, get those lights in there. The difference between this picture, right, is I moved the light over to the right. You got it on the left. So as I started snapping, I'm seeing it, right? So you have the light right here on, on the um, camera right. So then when I flip to the other side of the kitchen, the, ca uh, the light switches to camera left. Now it makes sense right here because of the composition. We have light spilling on the back. It's kind of illuminating things. Now you get right here where all the light is shooting towards me and not actually towards her. So it gives you a moody effect, but um, it, it kind of does hurt the production side, the editing portion of it. It just, I don't want to say it hurts it. It just, it just creates challenges. Again, this this is another one of those just kind of uh, be yourself be natural let's see what we can get what I hate about this is the flowers right here that's really it's, it's gonna bother me and let's say I was to edit this I would have to remove this and I would damn near remove the fireplace because if I was to successfully remove this um, I just don't feel like the fireplace is going to be salvageable. So it would just be easier to just completely eliminate this and try to at least keep that uh, that lining going down. But uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know, that's just an if. And then same thing here, I would have to remove this and then there's a shadow that goes with it as well. Um, it's not a very, uh, it's not a very flattering look. Um, you know, same thing here. Uh, face isn't very illuminated, but like I said, we're we're just kind of going into these things, having fun, and just seeing what we can come up with. Um, some looks are definitely going to be better than others. Uh, it's it's just all about testing it. She has some type of cut going down right here. I would have to go ahead and remove that. Uh, not really sure what that is have to remove that as well so one thing that I'm I'm like trying to make a priority right now is uh, let's see I'm just curious to what this looks like in black and white Sometimes black and white will really save you. But it's not, it, you know, it's just trying to see where it would make sense at. Um, I would almost prefer this over the, 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 the clear one, the colored one. With some of these poses, man, it's like it's it's literally a thing where you just trust the model, and um, 
you know, I'd rather have a, a model that experiments and tries things versus one that just doesn't try anything, that isn't giving me anything, you know. Uh, I'm not going to say I hate that, but uh, it hurts the process, you know. Uh, I feel like uh, these, when you focus on your job and you're doing your job to the best of its ability, that's when these photo shoots turn out the best. So... If you can, if you can do your best modeling, and or I don't want to say do your best. If you can, what's the word that I'm thinking of? If you can, if you can put a hundred percent into modeling, and I put a hundred percent in being a photographer, we should have some great shit. Now, when I have to put thirty percent in posing, you and helping you model leaving me with 70 percent to be a photographer um it's not to say that we won't be able to create anything dope but uh it just means that s where i could have been focusing and, and getting better results i'm kind of sacrificing some of that this picture is um, not in focus so that's really what it all is um see fixing those horizons man um, and, this, and again um, these pictures might not be ideal they might not even be pictures that get views but those catch lights um, I wish this one was a little higher in this eye right here these are but that's because the camera is to the left but at least we still got catch lights With these, I was trying to get like more of a, uh, a boudoir kind of look. Even at 2.8, I'm just missing the focus here. And this is where um, those macro lenses come in and play, man. Those macro lenses really works for these kind of kind of things because, as you can see, I'm study shooting. It's like I'm just study missing my focus. Even at 2.8. I'm like, hey, let's let's just get you sitting up. Um, damn lock is right there. That kind of definitely gives this a look. Uh, this is pretty good. I like this. She she really gives me a she has a Regina King kind of vibe, and I don't know why I'm just not seeing this. Um, this isn't super sexy. It's kind of too, you know, uh, chin up too high. I can't really see the eyes. Um, not super expressive. Um, but hey, uh, what's going on with those feet? I have to fix those. I like this. So here's an example if I was to like try to edit this, right? Sometimes I will hit the auto just to get an idea of what the computer is seeing. And um, sometimes it's good. It's good enough that you just work with it. Other times it's like, no, nah, nah. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the exposure up a little bit. right here this is a hot spot this is what they call hot spots so as I bring the highlights up you'll see how it starts to blow out everything so you want to find that sweet spot for it and then you have this right here these will let you know when you start clipping on your highlights I'm not sure why it's not turning on yet so like that. Just let me know when I'm clipping. This right here is it's too much. I, I don't like how that looks. I'm more comfortable with it being kind of like about right there. Uh, I want to bring the shadows down just because there's a lot going on in the background. 
might be a little too distracting. But like I said, this is just an example of if I was to really be going in into it and editing it. I have presets over here. So sometimes I'll just use one of my presets and kind of tweak it to my liking. versus that but it's not a very good picture so I'm not going to worry about it it's not a very good picture uh, it's not bad but it's just the angle and everything it's just it's off the fingers um, and sometimes this is where I just kind of get to a point where I'm just kind of stuck like all right uh, uh, it's only so much we can do now. Um, it's like having a brain fart, you know, where you're like, you're trying to figure out what's next and you're just kind of unsure, like, uh. Um, as you can see right here, I got my beauty dish right here firing off, um, just to kind of give me some, some color in the background because of how dark it, it's been right here, as you can see. Well, you can see the shadow right there, so I've already started shooting this light right there. but it really helps this area right here. This isn't a bad picture. Um, the eyelashes, man. The eyelashes. The eyelashes, if they're not on, put on properly, they will fuck up a model's expression. She'll go from um, having a full round eye to kind of like a high, kind of intoxicated look. And at first I didn't understand it. Like, nor did I know the proper way of uh, saying something about it. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I didn't know, like, what was the best way to say something to a model about certain things because I'm not trying to offend anybody or anything like that, you know. Uh, And I'm also not trying to be inappropriate neither. You know, it's a lot of things that could be taken the wrong way if you don't, <laughs> you know, if you don't watch how you how you speak to to women. Sometimes um, I had a I had a shoot with a model where we went through a similar situation, and um, it was the first time I had kind of ran into that situation where I'm kind of like asking her like hey like hey what's up with your eye like what do you mean what's up with my eye and I'm just like well one I, I, I don't know let's keep shooting then it's like I think I know what's wrong now what man like one of your eyes isn't opening all the way I hate that this is kind of sitting right there it kind of bothers me I wish that was dangling and I'm not really sure what is this under here I don't, I don't I don't know if that's part of her bra or what, but, uh, no, yeah, that's cool, anyway, so, um, I tell us the model, I'm like, you know, when I, when I, conf I don't want to say I confronted her, but when I brought it to her attention about her eye, um, she insinuated that it was just my camera, because she's done shoots before and hasn't had that issue before. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll just keep shooting. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm not at that point in my career where I know how to handle those situations. Like, I can't tell the woman that she's lying, that it's it's actually her when I'm not really sure what the issue is. I can see the problem. I just don't know what created the problem or how to fix it. So same thing here uh, with, the, with our face right here. It's kind of turned to the side. I would have preferred a more straight kind of look, um, shoulders up, chin up kind of look. For some of these models, um, you know, it's just a hobby for them. You know, it's something that they enjoy doing. Some models are, are, are have been through some type of training or schooling, and others are just freelance, freelancing. Um, I'm not... I don't really discriminate on like where um, 
I get some of the talent that I work with. You know, that's not really what I'm here for. Or, or at least at this point in my career, that's I'm not looking. Like, I'm not saying, give me the best, give me the best. I want to work with the best. No, it's like, yo, just bring me some, some, some cool people with some, some cool vibes, some good some good mature vibes some positive vibes give me some people that's trying to create just like i'm trying to create and as long as you got work ethic ambition and you know just creativity and you just you know you're just a cool person to be around like fuck it let's let's work man now um at first when she i i'm not really sure if if the don julio was just for personal consumption um, she brought this with her. Um, I asked her to bring some wine, just as an aesthetic. But uh, she brought the Don Julio, and at first I didn't, you know, I, I didn't really ask her like, "What's the Don Julio for?" But um, I think the Don Julio was more to uh, go with this outfit here. Every picture, like I said, every picture isn't going to be the picture. But as long as we can get a couple dope shots, I like some of these shots better than a lot of the ones that I've been going through already. Uh, I just really wish I was better at posing sometimes, knowing what works for certain body 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 types and things like that. Uh, the lighting is good like you know you got the 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 kitchen is lit um you got one key light coming from right here where i probably should have moved it a little bit more just so i can catch that eye but then you can see that there's a second light coming right here that's giving her that separation and it's kind of um filling in some of the shadows on this side as well so but you know uh face wise you know this might be a pretty good shot but um, just going like this again um, the body is, is tilted instead of giving me a straight kind of look because this is more of a sh uh, centered look for the composition where if you look at her body it looks like it's shooting up sideways I always tell models like look for every shoot that I do man I'm nervous I'm nervous because I don't know I don't know what's going to become of this I don't know how well we're going to do like I really don't know sometimes I don't know the outfits sometimes I don't know how the hair is going <laughs> to how she's looking with her hair sometimes I don't even know see like with this uh, move the hair it's not so we can see everything back there but it's just the hand is like it's just it's more distract it's like it's kind of ruining the the image itself so that's where I go hey here grab this bottle move all right but bring your hand up so we can see some of the shape This is kind of giving those, you know, I don't know, free spirit, come have a drink with me, uh, could be advertisement, you know. For me, it's just like, let's just shoot. Let's just get the shot. Let's get these shots. And we'll figure out what makes sense later. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm always like that. I'm definitely, I'm definitely um, going into this year trying to make more sense of uh, the shoots. Uh, I wanna, I wanna spend less time um, shooting. I wanna spend more time figuring out looks and getting that look right. Um, I just know when it comes to models, man, it's just that, that shutter, that hearing the photos, taking multiple photos, posing them. Once you get into that, 
once you get into that rhythm of all right do this all right now do that all right all right take your take your take your jacket and put it okay flip your hair once you get in that zone man like you kind of don't want to like slow it down you just want to just work with it and just trust it and just go with it and just allow yourself to you know to be in that moment Uh, it's not the worst picture but there's too much light spilling in this one so These first couple pictures is more going to be me. Um, she's not in focus. These first couple pictures is going to be me getting the light in red. As you can see, it went from super bright to kind of bright to now it's not bright enough. Uh, with these kind of pictures, I usually try to like go at least like, hey, at least you can like black and white it. If it's like too undisposed, we can at least black and white it. Here I am. For this, we have our location. It's more about the outfit choices. So okay, she brought props. She got she had a bear. She she had um, you know house shoes. She had her books. And it's like all right, I'm gonna just get get low with you. Kind of give like a more personal vibe. Like I'm right there with you, or we're right there with you. We're having wine with you. We're reading a book with you, you know. Um, these poses, these are her own poses. Um, and I love I love that, man. I love when when I'm working with someone who just has it in them and say, hey, let me try this. Let me do this. Oh, I like this. Ah, let me just. It's like, you know what? Yeah, do that. I like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's working. I like the vibe that you're creating with that. Cause some of some of these ideas is 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 some of these ideas be things that I be thinking of. I just don't know how to uh, articulate it. I don't know how to say here do this. You know, I don't I don't know how to say hey um, just just here just let me we gonna have you hanging out. Like sometimes I don't know how to do that. I don't know exactly how to say it. So when they're able to just do it for me, it's like oh perfect. Oh my god, I love that look. Keep that look. not in focus not in focus um, this is just a few different of the presets I think I did this before and it's like uh, it doesn't look like a bad picture but I need it to look like something But she she has like her lips are really sexy. That's why I'm like trying to get a lot of the uh, the close up face shots on her. Right now I'm shooting at f4. I'm not sure where like where's the focus going. Like I'm at 2.8. Maybe I'm just a little too close. I'm not sure. you know something like this between like these two looks like this is this is ideally like more or less like what one of one of my edits would look like if I was just doing a basic soft edit in Lightroom it would probably look like this and sometimes I you know I like to play around with my colors and stuff This one is called uh, Brand Free. It's really. Let me just go ahead and fix that. Sometimes I'll be so quick doing these. 
of the speed magnet and whatever, even if it, the spelling is off, like whatever. So I'm gonna just try to speed through these. Uh, I've really just been trying to get like commentary on this stuff, but I'm gonna just definitely speed through these, especially since these aren't rated. I just feel like um, my 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 part, like I just I just feel like. If I don't give you all the photos, I'm kind of cheating you. I'm not, I'm, you know, misleading you because I always promise all the photos.